Today I'm going to quickly show you how to create a seamless video loop for a background for websites. Um, here's an example of a Wix website with a seamless loop background where you can't really tell where the beginning of the video is and the end is. It doesn't, when it jumps from the last frame to the first frame, you don't notice that transition. So I'm going to show you how to do this using iMovie and QuickTime. The first thing you want to do is open up uh, a folder where you have the video. So you want to find a a video that um, is from an online stock source um, or your own video, it's important to find a video that is still, that um, is taken from like a tripod where you don't have a whole lot of moving, the background's not changing, the, the, uh, the camera isn't moving around, it's staying in one spot, and maybe the background is something's going on that's subtle, um, that's ideal. So this video is one I purchased off of Shutterstock and it doesn't actually seamlessly loop so I'm going to create one from it. The next step is to edit and trim down that video, that stock clip that you got. Because it, the longer it is, the bigger the file. So you want to make something relatively small. So I'm going to trim this using QuickTime which is under, if you open up into your QuickTime player, you can go up here to edit, down to trim, it opens up, I'm going to do this again, it opens up this little panel here with these yellow um, tabs and you can use these to kind of trim it down to something that you think is a good length long enough that it's going to be enough to uh, look gradual and subtle with but also loops. Um, so I've trimmed it down here now it's only what two seconds long roughly. Uh, now my next step is to export this out as a 1080p. I like to make that uh, movie sample um, 1080p is just a good size for it. I'm going to close this. Don't save over your original file just in case you want to go back to that. Now you're going to open up iMovie. I already have this here open so I'm going to delete this out. When you first open up iMovie you'll see this empty keyframe area. What you want to do is go find that movie that you created and you trim down to something a little shorter and you just simply drag it over into this panel. So I'm going to show that to you one more time. Just Open that panel up, make sure you have your iMovie open and drag it in here. Next step, just click anywhere in roughly in the middle of this video clip. So you'll see a little line appears here. Go up to Modify Split Clip. And now you'll see it has split that clip in half. I want to click on this, hold it, and drag it over so that now the that split clip is kind of um, seamed up against each other. And now what I want to do is create a little transition between these two so you don't see the stutter. Um, so to, sh to show you here, let's hit play, the space bar. You'll see now you're seeing that stutter because it's go jumping. So what I'm going to do is create a little transition here to, uh, to hide that, to make that so you can't really see it. Um, it's, it's, this is really easy with clouds. It, it's different with depending on what your, your uh, topic is. So make sure Sometimes when you first open up iTunes, you'll see this. You want to click on Transitions here in this tab, find the Cross Dissolve, click on that, drag it, and drag it over here between those two clips. So what this is doing, this is dissolving from this clip to this clip, so it's going to be a nice subtle transition. To really see it from here, I like to just go ahead and export it out. So I'm going to go to Share, uh, they don't call it Export here, or Save, it's called Share. They go to File. It's going to open up this little panel. I choose the 1080p. Faster is good for compression. You want to keep these files small. You could adjust the quality here, um, but it's not necessary necessarily. Uh, it will give you a little um, size here so you can see how big it is. I would keep it under 5 megabytes if at all possible for video backgrounds, and even smaller if possible. Um, so I could go down to low and make it 866. Let's just try that. And I'm going to say this is low quality loop. Save it. Now this should appear. I'm going to open up my desktop folder again on my Mac. And here it is. So I'm going to open this up. Let's look at this, see how this looks. Okay, well, as you see, when I open it up into QuickTime, it's not looping automatically. To view it in a loop in QuickTime, go up to View, Loop. And now you can see if it looks right. And yes, I don't see that jump um, back and forth. I made this one extremely short. I can make it a little longer. Uh, but here's a perfect example of how it's not, you can't tell that it's looped anymore. So that's it. The next step I usually will export from here 
just to see if I get a smaller file. Um, we'll call this from exported QT for QuickTime. And then let's see what the difference is between file sizes. Ah, it's the same, so it doesn't really matter. So um, once you have that nice loop, then you can just go back to your Wix site or whatever website editor you're using, and you would upload this video to that, um, that website background. In this case, in Wix, I click here to upload videos. I'm going to find that video, open, upload it. It takes some time. The longer and bigger the file it is, the longer it'll take. Um, but once it's done, you'll see it starts transcoding in here. You can select it, and by selecting it, it just means that you have this little check mark here and then you can click on change background. And then you can preview and make sure it's looking right. And yes, it is. So that's it. Happy uh, designing. I just want to quickly show you how to create that, that uh, loop. And, and again, just to go over that, all you have to do is drag a video into I, iMovie on Mac. Go up here, click here so that you get that little line. Go up here to split clip. You're going to drag this clip in front of the other. Then you're going to go to Transitions, click on this Cross Dissolve, put that Cross Dissolve between here. Don't worry that it shortens this. I think that's just I, iMovie's way of like giving you more room to work with. It, sh it shrinks it visually, but it's still the same length. Go up here to Share to get, get this out of iMovie. Go to File, and then you're going to choose 1080p and the quality. Kind of look at the size and try to get it as small as possible while also looking good and save it to your desktop and then you're done. So um, enjoy, happy uh, looping. <laughs>